Mabuhay and welcome, learners! I am Sir Kevin, your teacher in technology and livelihood education. Today, join me as we develop your life skills in information and communications technology. Be ready, get your pen, notebook, and self-instructional pockets or side packs, and let us begin our TLE journey. In our previous discussion, we learned about the different tools used in Computer Hardware Servicing or CHS. Tools in CHS are divided into four categories. Number one, ESD tools or electrostatic discharge tools consisting of anti-static wrist strap and anti-static mat. The second one, we have the hand tools, Phillips screwdriver, flathead screwdriver, torque screwdriver, hex driver, needle nose pliers, wire cutter, part retriever, tweezers, and flashlight are the examples of hand tools. Cleaning tools which include cable ties, lint-free cloth, compressed air, parts organizer are the third group of tools in CHS. And lastly, we have diagnostic tools which consists of multimeter and look-back adapter. Hoping that you've learned a lot in our discussion last meeting. Be ready learners, lend me your ears and prepare your heart and mind as you join me in our learning journey for today. Let's have a game. Our game is entitled as Fill Me. The objective of our game is to complete the statement by choosing the correct answer flash on the screen. Are you ready? Very good. These are the possible answers. Number one, preventive maintenance. Number two, damage or defective. And number three, tools and equipment. First question, all blank must be properly maintained so that workers are not endangered. What is the answer? Very good. The answer is tools and equipment. Number two, blank equipment or tools should be tugged and removed from service. What is the answer? Good job. The answer is the damage and defective. Number three, blank is the systematic care and protection of tools equipment, and machine in order to keep them in a safe, usable condition, limit downtime, and extend productivity. What is the answer? Fantastic! The answer is preventive maintenance. Good job, class! Let us now begin our ICT journey. For our learning objective for today is use and maintain hand tools, and equipment. And this is based from the most essential learning competencies. This lesson is specifically aims to number one, define preventive maintenance. And number two, cite different ways in storing tools, parts, and equipment. Our topic for today is using and maintaining hand tools and equipment. Let us now start our lesson proper. Tools and Equipment Maintenance All working stations have different safety protocols. This includes handling tools and tools which need to maintain not only to keep the physical condition of each tool and equipment but also to keep the workers safe and sound. Regulation is a part of safety policies in the working area, starting from inspection of tools, machine, and equipment before and after use. What is preventive maintenance? What comes into your mind when you hear the word preventive maintenance? Preventive maintenance is the systematic care and protection of tools, equipment, and machines in order to keep them in a safe, usable condition, limit downtime, and extend productivity. In simple words, preventive 
maintenance is facilitating the working place or working station to improve working productivity and increase the safety of tools and equipment at your place. How we can say that the maintenance program is successful? We can say that the maintenance program is successful if number one, it is well organized and scheduled. Number two, it controls hazard wherein the workplace is safe for the workers. Number two, it defines operational procedures and lastly, it trains key personnel. Those are the different features wherein we can say that a maintenance program is successful. The degree of detail to include regarding tools and equipment maintenance will depend on the kinds of tools or equipment being used. In simple words, the kind of maintenance program to be implemented in the workstation or in the workplace depends on the kind of tools and equipment being used. Number one, construction equipment. Preventive maintenance of construction equipment may include visual inspection as well as technical monitoring in order to anticipate problems and fix them before they become serious. Number two, electronic equipment. This equipment has different maintenance requirements related to handling of electronic type of tools or equipment. It also requires checking of the device before work or before using it. Number three, hand tools. Hand tools require only basic maintenance program like cleaning, placing to proper location, labeling, and improving the physical condition of the hand tools or the tools. Number four, power tools. Power tools requires more maintenance than the hand tools because this type of tools includes both mechanical as well as electrical part. Power tools should be maintained in good working order. Like, number one, ensuring that the blades as well as the bits are replaced when needed. Number two, guards or other safety devices are operatable. And lastly, any damaged electrical cord as well as plugs are repaired or replaced. Number five, damaged and defective tools. Damaged or defective equipment or tools should be tagged and removed from the service. In simple words, tools that are damaged as well as defective should be labeled and separated from the tools that are in good condition or safe to use. Why? Why do we need to separate the damage as well as the defective tools from the tools that are in good condition? Very good! We need to separate them in order to not to create serious and painful injuries. Always remember that if a tool or equipment is defective in some way, do not use it because it will create serious problem or injuries. Aside from that, not all defective and damaged tools are disposable. Some defective or damaged tools needs only to replace some parts. That is why tools and equipment should be organized as well as it should be identified if an item should be eliminated or not. Let us now move on to proper storage of tools, parts, and equipment. What is proper storage? Proper storage it is the process of placing or storing the tools, parts, and equipment in proper places. Why do we need to store the tools and equipment properly? Very good. We need to store properly the tools, parts, as well as the equipment to ensure that the tools and equipment remain in good condition and last for a long time. Properly stored tools, parts, and equipment will be easy to find when needed as well as less likely to be lost. 
what are the good practices we need to do when it comes to proper storage. Good practices includes number one, parts should be properly stored and labeled, just like this one. Number two, sh uh, tools should be properly placed on the board and labeled, just like this one. Next, consider drawing the shapes of the tools on the board so that they always get put back in the same position, just like this one. And the next, use bin for storing small parts, just like this one. And lastly, consider making an individual responsible for the good maintenance of tools as well as parts. What are the benefits of proper storage? Number one, tools and parts are kept in good condition and are easy to find. Next, costs are reduced. Next, productivity is increased because time is not wasted looking for tools, parts, and equipment. Work staff develop a sense of responsibility and pride in their work. Those are the benefits of proper storage. I hope you had a fun time learning with me. Let's see if you listen really well in our discussion. Let's have a short activity. Our activity is entitled as Ustuya o Aliya Ustu. Ustuya is a kapampangan term for tama ito. And Aliya Ustu, hindi ito tama o mali ito. The objective of the activity is to identify whether each statement is correct or not. If the statement is correct, say, Ustuya. Aliya Ustu if it is not. Are you ready? Very good. Let's have the first statement. Number one, damaged or defective equipment or tools should be tagged and removed from the service. Ustuya o Aliya Ustu. Very good, Ustuya. Number two, preventive maintenance is the systematic care and protection of tools, equipment, and machines in order to keep them in a safe, usable condition, limit downtime, and extend productivity. Ustuya o Aliya Ustu? Fantastic, Ustuya. Number three, productivity is decreased because the time is not lost looking for tools, parts, and equipment is one of the benefits of proper storage. Ustuya o Aliya Ustu? Good job, Aliya Ustu! Number four, the successful maintenance program is well-organized and scheduled, controls hazard, defines operational procedures, and trains key personnel. Ustuya o Aliya Ustu? Very good, Ustuya! And lastly, using bins for storing small parts is a bad practice on proper storage. Ustuya o Aliya Ustu? Very good, Aliya Ustu! Kagaling yo? Kagaling yo is a kapampangan phrase which means Ang galing nyo. To give us a recap, I'll turn to you over to my co teacher, Teacher Shermaine. Hi learners, I am Teacher Shermaine. Before we sum up our lesson for today, let me remind you to observe proper netiquette. Bear in mind to avoid posting harsh and foul words. And make sure in learning ICT, think before you click. And to finally wrap up our lesson, let me remind you that preventive maintenance is the systematic care and protection of tools, parts, equipment, and machine in order to keep them in a safe, usable condition, limit downtime, and extend productivity. A successful maintenance program is well organized and scheduled, controlled hazards, defines operational procedures, and trains key personnel. While proper storage is the process of placing or storing tools, parts, and equipment in proper places, we need to store the tools, 
parts and equipment properly to ensure that the tools and equipment are in good condition and last for a long time. Amazing, Teacher Charmaine! Thank you for joining me today. See you again soon! I hope you had fun and learned a lot in our discussion for today. For our next lesson, we will be discussing about performing basic mensuration and carry out mensuration and calculation. With that, keep safe and God bless. Bye-bye!